Numi Chinese Breakfast is our next one. It says it's high caffeine. Just like oh the last boy. one that we had. To start your day, steep four to five minutes. Yunnan style Ooh. golden tipped tea leaves. Sounds good. Smells good. I like Numi. I get high quality tea. For high quality prices that are not high. Malty and floral. Think about all that goes into making tea, all those farmers. And this is a home, or not a home, but a family-run company. All that time, all those things they have to do, rolling them and fermenting them and baking them and steaming them. It varies, of course. Okay. What is the question today? The question today is, I went to the dentist. Don't my teeth look great? No, not a, a question related to tea or books or preferably both. Okay. You read any books about dentists? No. Actually, I have. Oh. But it was a children's book. You got to read a book by Weston A. Price. I'll put the title up here because I can't think of the name of it right now. But um, he wanted to know why people in the Western world had bad teeth and the native people with their traditional diets didn't, so he studied it, and he found out the more you eat unadulterated food, the better off you are, and the less you eat sugary, processed things, the better off you are. Okay. All right, so am how I gonna does have this to, one smell? Am I going to have to think of the tea question? Do you have a question for us? Let's She's got a question. What mm, major is, malty. What is your favorite movie that was based off of a book that you didn't like or... Really, really disliked. You disliked the book, but you liked the movie. Or vice versa. You loved the book, but you hated the movie. Boy, you're going to stir up some controversy with that question. I know mine. So you read all those Star Wars books after you watched the Star Wars movies. Mm -hmm. And you read the Harry Potter books. Yeah, okay. Um, that's what I was going for. Um, thank you for that. So that I didn't have to bring it up. <laughs> It's as if I've met you. <laughs> um, if any of you have ever watched Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, but not read the book or read the book and not watched the movie, if you have watched the movie, go read the book. It's ten times better. If you haven't watched the movie, don't. But we'll link them both. Just in case. Because, you know, you tell me not to do something, I'm going to do it. Yeah, she has a point. But the reason that I, I... will not comply. The reason that I tell you this is because um, so much that was introduced in the book and such a really rich story following Harry in his fifth year, or fourth year, Let's see. Something. Anyway, his fourth or fifth year, I'm very confused at the moment because I have had so many books that have gone through my head today. Uh, but anyway. Do you insert them in your ear and then they come out the other side? Is that how they go through your head? No, they just kind of get in my head and then they stay there and circle around every now and then. Because I'd like to floss with books. <laughs> Stick one in and... Uh, <laughs> um, and totally logical. So... The thing is, so much of that that was introduced and shown in the book, it's not in the movie. And because you know how long a movie would be if you got every detail. No, from the book? no, but like the Sorcerer's Stone had everything. It had drawing you in the movie did and the book. The movie and the book were very similar, and they were both very good. But Goblet of Fire, I don't know what went wrong, but something went wrong. Because all of a sudden you have really weird things that didn't happen. And while there are some okay scenes, maybe one or two good scenes, overall I don't think the movie is worth watching unless you want to torture one of your friends who likes Harry Potter. Which I'm sure I would do if I was one of my friends. Because okay, so I'm just like that. This has a lot of floral in the smell, not much floral in the taste, and it's got that almost tongue-numbing effect that I get with some black teas. Also, just to spark even more controversy, if you have a favorite comic book or comic book character that was adapted into a movie and you didn't like the movie or you had a favorite 
movie that you later learned was a comic book and you read the comic book and you didn't like it, that's allowed too. She likes it. You see what I mean about tongue numbing? Ooh. The feel of it, the mouth feel. That it's here ish. I had a lychee once and I thought maybe I was allergic to lychee because it kind of numbed my tongue, but maybe it was the kind of tea it was. Just kind of. Golden tip tea leaves. Just have it like right, right. The numbing is kind of here, but the flavor is here. My numbing's on my hard palate and the top of my tongue. It's tasty. It's, uh, okay. I don't know why, but this tea reminds me of bandages. Real quick, thumbnail. Okay. <laughs> what was that about? <laughs> do it again. This is my thumbnail. No, do it. Do it, do it again. No, no. Like the thumbnail for the video. Do it. Do it again. What's the good ship lollipop there? What? Am I uh, Shirley Temple? No, it's just funny. <laughs> so I'm drinking the second infusion, even though this is a bag tea. A bag tea is a good way to see if you like a tea before you invest in a whole pound of loose leaf. Although I know I like Numi teas. Except that one that was just lime juice. I didn't understand that. I had the, um, where is it? Matcha toasted rice. That was actually really, really good. If you like burnt popcorn. I brewed it in one of my little travel cups and had it on the way to Wednesday night church one night, and it was really good. Mm, well, that's good. I put some of the um, Harney and Sons soba in it. Okay, second infusion of this bag tea. Oh. Lighter. This could stand three. Mmm. I hear a challenge. We can't stop. If you challenge us, we will do it. So please don't challenge us. Speak for yourself. I'm good at saying no. And you need to be able to say no. If somebody's telling you to do something that isn't right... Say no. Just say no to doing the wrong thing. Don't comply. I will not. Do not be complicit with evil. And that's all we'll be able to do because we're out of water. Mm. Um. Not going to try in third infusion. <laughs> but see, you've actually got leaves in here. All right, well, Emma's playing with her tea. You can go down and see the links that we've provided for you and like this video. And until we see you again, make sure to make time for tea and a good book. And there goes our timer for our next video. You'll see it later.